Mass Effect 5 is an action role-playing video game that is developed by BioWare and published by EA. The project was formally announced in 2020, and since then teases and rumors have circulated around the project. Let's break down the reveal, concept art, and what engine the game will utilize. As always, all the sources will be linked in the description below, so make sure to check those out and support those original writers. And with that out of the way, let's get into everything we know about Mass Effect 5. The first mention of Mass Effect 5 was in November of 2020 with the release of Bioware Stories and Secrets from 25 Years of Game Development which is a book that was written to give fans a better idea of Bioware and the games they have created over the past 25 years. The book included three pieces of concept art that are expected to be for Mass Effect 5, along with a small description about what's next for the series. The images are titled as a look at the next Mass Effect. The text says, quote, on the heels of a long-awaited remaster of the Mass Effect trilogy, BioWare now prepares its epic return to space. A veteran team is hard at work envisioning the next big Mass Effect game. Expect amazing new worlds to explore with memorable characters, buoyed by the series' signature choices and consequences. There's an incredible universe of history to draw from, and many more stories for us to tell. Project director Mike Gamble says, we're focusing on creating something truly for the fans. Eventually, the concept art was taken from the book and corrected to look as high quality as possible. The first image is suspected to be a mass relay, which we have seen in past games. The second image is expected to be alien structures, possibly from the remnant. And the last image from the book seems to be from a swamp world, and a mud skipper can be seen just off to the side of the image. The last image fans suspect to be created for Mass Effect 5 is another planet with a cleaner look at a mud skipper, along with characters wandering the world. The concept art is fun to look at, but doesn't always translate to what the actual game will look like, but it is a sign that early work is being done on the game, even if it's just creating concept art to build out the world and universe. The next news about Mass Effect 5 was released in December of 2020 with the next Mass Effect official teaser trailer. The trailer starts with showing off two galaxies, which fans assume to be the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies. The trailer continues through space, with dialogue playing throughout, but the trailer ends with who fans assume to be Liara from the original Mass Effect trilogy, which could mean we could see old characters returning and a connection between the two galaxies, and the games themselves, between Andromeda and the original trilogy. Then the project director at Bioware, Michael Gamble, was responding to fans on Twitter and gave additional details about the trailer. One fan said, quote, Opening shot also has very pointed imagery of two galaxies. My mind is racing. Are we going to get a single sequel to both games? And Michael responded saying the choice to show two galaxies was intentional. Which could mean that Mass Effect 5 will be exactly what the tweet said, a sequel to both games and a way to connect all the games together. Michael then responded to another excited fan, and he said, who knows, maybe not, but we show both for a reason. Once again, in reference to the two galaxies. So clearly the team was very intentional with creating this trailer, and hid aspects of the story, and wanted to get speculation started early within the community. But as of now, we will just have to wait and see more about the game until we can talk about specifics. The last information from the reveal was posted on the Bioware blog, which included one paragraph about Mass Effect 5, which said, quote, We've got a lot more in store for the Mass Effect universe, and while we've got a long runway ahead of us before we'll be ready to show you more, we hope the teaser set the tone for where we're headed next. The teaser is full of hints about what we're planning, and we hope you have fun finding them all. 
And all of this should be known to the community. The game is still very early in development and many years away from release, but the team is working on the game, and whenever there are more details to share, they will share the information. The big news that was posted in September of 2021 was regarding the engine Mass Effect 5 will be utilizing. The news comes from an EA job listing that is looking for a technical director for Mass Effect 5, and one of the requirements is for candidates who have experience with the Unreal Engine. The author of the story, Jeff Grubb, was able to confirm with his sources that everything is on the table when it comes to technology for the new Mass Effect, and that potentially means using Unreal Engine instead of EA's in-house Frostbite engine. This is a big deal for the series, because the first three Mass Effect games were developed using Unreal Engine, but BioWare switched to Frostbite to develop Mass Effect Andromeda and Anthem. The problem with these games weren't necessarily just the engine, but it definitely was a contributing factor. And Jeff Grubb elaborates further in a series of tweets that the company wants to embrace next generation visual technology for Mass Effect, and when Mass Effect starts production in 2023, the Frostbite engine could be far behind the Unreal Engine. The big news here is that Mass Effect 5 isn't going to start production until 2023, which means fans shouldn't expect to release until 2025 at the earliest. And the final exciting news is regarding the development team that has been referenced as a veteran team, which includes a lot of members returning who worked at BioWare at some point in the past. First is Dusty Everman, who rejoined the team as a principal narrative designer, and he was previously a senior level designer. Parrish Lay is back, and he was once the cinematic director for the Mass Effect trilogy. Next is Brennan Holmes, who is a program and technical designer. And final is the original art director has returned, Derek Watts. All of which should make fans more excited and know that the series is in good hands and is being worked on by people who created the original trilogy and really want to see the best for this franchise. And that for the most part is everything we know about Mass Effect 5. The game is still many years away, and more details will be released as development picks up. But all early news and speculation points to this game as a return to classic Bioware, and a way to win back the trust of the community. Either way, that's where I'm going to end this video, and that is everything we know about Mass Effect 5. Make sure to like and share this video, subscribe for weekly gaming news, and I will see you guys in the next one.